it up. And today I like to talk about roller texture that you can buy commercially uh, online. Uh, I think there's a different manufacturer that making uh, texture. And, uh, you saw me that I uh, did a whole bunch of uh, demonstration using uh, MKM. Uh, this roller texture is free from MKM. What if uh, you don't have the budget to uh, to buy the uh, commercial texture? Uh, actually, you can make it yourself, make your own roller. And this is the roller that I made out of uh, porcelain clay. You can use a fine clay to to do that. Just throw uh, a solid piece of uh, a clay and uh, you uh, making a hole in the, in the center and they cut out your own texture so uh, it's very unique texture that belongs to you so I can also do that too and I only have uh, this fire okay this fire so this is the uh, uh, texture that I did uh, years ago um, just, to, just to show you that uh, you can do carving your own roller texture yourself okay base fire base fire okay so I'm gonna use one of it to uh, to throw today and since this is the uh, a little bit uh, narrow than the uh, commercial one this is a little bit longer this is narrow so I'm just insert a plastic tube they insert the tube there so to uh, increase the size okay and then I can roll all right so I will use this to uh, to show you my own unique uh, texture so to be able to roll the texture that, that is deep enough especially you are not uh, making a slab and then put it on the table and roll your texture so uh, but the same thing that you want to have a support something that uh, support on the inside while you're rolling of course you can use a finger the finger there to support it but it's it's not a very uh, uh, even because when you're using your, your hand inside and um, I've been showing lots of uh, uh, videos on how you find in making something to support on the inside and I'm going to do it again here and I'm going to make the tea bowl So carefully make my cylinder and to be able to roll it the uh, uh, deep enough that your texture to be able to be uh, roll, rolling deep enough uh, you need to have support so uh, you can find a uh, some kind of a cardboard cylinder that uh, Easily, this is my uh, badminton shadow tube that you can use, and uh, you can find a lot of it, but similar thing that uh, you could insert it inside. Okay, so but to be able to pull it out easily, uh, usually you I suggest people use newspaper to wrap around your tube. So once you're done with the roller, uh, you just hold on to the tube and you can pull out easily. And then remove your newspaper. Okay. Uh, if you don't do that, you just by insert your tube inside. Once you uh, compress it, there's no way you can pull out your tube. So that's very important. 
Right, so I'm gonna, uh, so I make the uh, size that's similar, it may be a one eighth or a quarter of inch wider than the actual uh, diameter. Now I'm gonna insert it. Uh, I might have uh, some uh, texture from the newspaper, so I'm going to soften it. Okay, just uh, dip it in the water to make it a bit softer. Okay, softer. Right, and then insert. Okay. Then slowly color to push up, push up the uh, the wall against against the tube. And you want to pull out from the base so that you don't trap the air inside. Okay. Slowly push it up. So my uh, wall is fitting nicely um, the tube, and then um, to make my design clear, I usually like to remove the uh, throw mark and uh, using a uh, wooden rib to compress it. Make sure the surface is nice and clean, and then use uh, also use the uh, the metal rib to. Oh, it's nice and clean, man. Get my texture, custom made texture, made from a piece of uh, porcelain clay. And uh, to prevent that the clay from sticking, um, you always want to wet it okay, before you roll it. So I roll my own design onto the surface and then okay see that with the newspaper wrap around it it's easy to pull out and I actually uh, roll two layers of the newspaper okay so sometimes I find out well, one layer is not enough and then you can pull the inner piece of paper out and then slowly Peel the newspaper from the inside. Slowly pull it and twist it a little bit. Okay, pull out my paper, and then I want to rewet it. Inside this paper is absorbing the water slip, so. Get a sponge there to wet it and maybe stretch it a bit. Slowly to uh, smooth the uh, corner, just the uh, paper by the corner is a little bit rough, so I'm using my finger to smooth it. And now all we need, I need to do is just uh, stretching. I'm going to use my uh, stretching stick. 
this is designed for uh, t balls or uh, mugs uh, with the uh, nicer curve here. So you can use all different kind of curve. Okay, so I wet it. And then just by pushing the corner and then slowly push out. Smooth in the corner and then uh, slowly move up my tool and stretch it. Um, compress the uh, in, inside part, inside, smooth it, using the tip, okay, the tip there, and slowly move on my tool, it's like, it's like serving as my fingers, smooth fingers. Right, for the rim, I would like to open up a bit. Defining my corner, me put in my wooden rib to support on the bottom. And if you wanted to, you can put some of uh, the throw mark by uh, using your finger there. You can compress the uh, finger mark. Some, sometimes people like the, uh, the throw mark. It's 
especially in the middle. Right, so this is where I'm going to cut it. And using the uh, cutting stream. Okay, so that's the uh, roller texture of my own design.